Pranam Ma, I humbly wish to ask the scripture talk about heaven and hell and that Rishi has not gone there to see so. We have doubts whether it really exists. But that same scripture and same Rishi mentions about God, soul, life, death and we completely accept that part. Why do we doubt partially or accept partially and interpret as per our human intelligence? How does anyone know what is meant to be interpreted and what is to be actually taken as it's written or said, please guide. Of course, there is no need to be partial. You need to, of course, accept what the scripture is saying, what the Rishi is saying totally. Who said that you should doubt it? Who says? You are saying it. You are picking up. I believe into this and I don't. I agree to this and I don't. So don't analyze. The acceptance has to be total. Like many people make this argument that those who die, if they have gone to heaven or hell, they haven't come back to tell us whether the heaven and hell existed or not. How come we should believe in heaven and hell? Why should we believe in heaven and hell? Well, they don't know this. The human psychology is to be understood very properly. Let's say, you are having a bad dream, you are drowning in an ocean, ocean is rough, there's a storm and you are dying and it's all happening in a dream. In the dream, you are shrieking, crying, save me, save me, save me. Whereas you were just lying on your bed. But for you that is true. Isn't it so? So a person who was in the room sees you in this very difficult and painful nightmarish dream. He is laughing. He is laughing because there is no ocean and you are not drowning. And yet the person is saying, I am drowning, I am drowning. So what does the, the other person, the person can do? The choice is either let you suffer in your dream or wake you up. Get up and see, you are just on your bed, not in an ocean. When somebody says about heaven or hell, from the psychological point of view, the one who is experiencing that, for that, this person, it does exist. So there is no way you can say, oh, heaven, hell doesn't exist. And you don't have to go somewhere to know it. You are every day getting pain in the hell created by your mind. And sometimes you are in a heaven which is created by your mind. Like a friend told another friend, he said, I had a great dream. I was with a beautiful woman and we were both swimming in a pool. And the friend said, why didn't you call me? I, even I should have been part of this. He said, well... You just now said that last night in your dream, you went for jungle safari. So there are no phone connectivity. So how could I call you that a beautiful woman is with me? You say, ah, oh, yeah, true. I was in jungle safari. Both are mad. The one who was enjoying the jungle safari and the one who was with the beautiful woman, both were just having a dream. And yet the dream seems so true. So Rishi observes all these things and understands all these things. And the hell or heaven would be created by your mind. It doesn't have to be physically in a gross form somewhere. Your mind will do that. And note this, mind does a beautiful job. Every morning you wake up and you say, Ah, oh, that was just a dream, nothing else. And yet, every night when you dream, you believe it's true. What a great work this mind can do. So heaven and hell exist. God exists. You exist. So do not dissect or analyze the scripture or the rishi. Whatever is being said is 100% true.